Hello and uh, welcome back to another video from uh, trainingright.com. In this uh, video we will be quickly looking into how we can work with uh, MTM which is uh, the Microsoft uh, Test Manager. Well um, as far as the MTM is concerned it is uh, the tool which is used by manual testers to do um, testing and uh, basically with um, what are we going to be learning as a part of uh, uh, this series is um, how to uh, interact with MTM uh, which uh, uh, will help you to plan manage and uh, execute your uh, you know test cases uh, uh, and for you to do that uh, you have to first of all uh, get started with uh, the tool itself and try and understand what exactly the tool uh, offers you in terms of uh, you know planning and configuring your um, tests uh, and uh, as uh, we learn that uh, we will uh, not only be uh, mastering ourselves um, in terms of uh, uh, monitoring as um, how those tests can be executed using uh, MTM but we will also be looking at uh, how uh, if a test case fails how we could be creating a, uh, a bug and uh, reporting that bug uh, to a developer and uh, we'll be wearing uh, different hats in here so I'll also be showing you as how uh, a developer is uh, going to see as uh, uh, the bug report that uh, we as uh, uh, testers will be uh, going to be filing it uh, using this MTM tool. So um, to get started, uh, we have to uh, first of all, um, you know, start off with uh, MTM. But MTM, uh, trying to understand that MTM, uh, which is uh, the Microsoft's uh, test manager uh, tool, which is used by manual testers, uh, works off uh, with something called TFS which is the team foundation server. So, so um, in a nutshell, uh, understand TFS as the backend uh, wherein it uh, stores all uh, that data uh, that uh, we will be uh, putting in uh, through uh, the MTM. So using TFS, uh, we uh, will be working with uh, different, um, you know, sort of artifacts uh, of TFS, uh, which could be user stories, uh, um, and uh, we'll be creating some tasks um, and uh, when we create any test plans through your MTM uh, those test plans uh, data about all those test plans and the details about all that get stored into the TFS uh, along with the test plan comes your test suites and uh, test cases and bugs and builds uh, so all in all everything uh, basically gets uh, um, stored uh, into TFS which acts as a repository so we're going to be looking into uh, MTM as well as uh, TFS uh, so in this uh, video I will just be introducing you uh, so that you can understand the relationship um, now uh, you can take a look into the topics that uh, we will be covering as a part of this course uh, of course um, uh, you know there are certain topics that we have already uh, covered through our other videos but uh, in this video, I will be focusing uh, quite a bit, uh, introducing you to the Microsoft uh, Test Manager and uh, what are the different activities of a test manager in, in, uh, in, in reference to the testing center because there's something called a lab um, there as well as a testing center. We'll be introducing to the testing center uh, today and uh, I'll be starting off uh, working with the uh, you know MTM um, and that uh, would uh, basically require us to go and then configure uh, our test uh, plan so we'll be getting into the planning of uh, um, how uh, to come up with uh, different test cases for the application that we would be testing so uh, the details are basically all uh, over here so I would uh, strongly um, suggest you to go and take a look into uh, those things that you could find un under our courses uh, on our website so and just go and then take a look into the coded uh, MTM TFS that will bring you here and the topics are lined up uh, here so uh, majority of the topics have already been uh, created um, into our videos uh, like um, you know a good intense uh, introduction to c-sharp programming was already covered and stuff like that so again coming back uh, this uh, video particularly today is all about mtm so first things first uh, where do you get the mtm uh, from mtm is a part of your visual studio so once you go and download visual studio and install it mtm uh, comes as a part of it so i uh, for one on this machine have installed 
uh, Visual Studio 2013, uh, the ultimate uh, version of it. Um, it's not that the ultimate version is needed, but that's what I have installed. And al along with that uh, is my Microsoft Test Manager. So uh, I'm going to be starting off the Microsoft Test Manager. And as you do that, um, the first things first, it's going to uh, come up and then ask you to get connected to a project. So what you are seeing here is uh, I am already connected to the project, um, so I will uh, basically try to, uh, you know, um, log out or get out of here and then try to show you everything right from the beginning. So let me just uh, sign out. That way you will have an idea of how the whole thing uh, gets started. So one more time. Um, so when you start off, it is going to um, uh, ask you to log in. So, um, first of all, uh, try and have uh, um, a Microsoft account. So, there are different accounts that you could be creating, um, like a, a Hotmail account or a Outlook account. Um, I, for one, have um, you know a bunch of accounts. So, I'm going to be logging in as uh, um, training right, um, and I have training right at. Uh, uh, outlook.com and I have training right at uh, hotmail.com so I have different accounts so let's say if I log in as training right at hotmail.com so I want to let you know uh, at this point that uh, once I sign in I am a part of of uh, a project on TFS so you would say that while well, uh, we are not a part of a project uh, on a TFS, so how how would we even see this screen? Well, I totally understand that. So this is what we're going to be doing. So I will go back in here, right? And I I am going to uh, show you right from the beginning. So what we can do is let's say uh, when you're using MTM, uh, MTM basic basically connects to a uh, a project uh, that you would be hosting on a TFS on a team foundation server so um, as far as a TFS is concerned uh, either you have two options now either you can install TFS on your own laptop on your own machine um, or uh, if you're a part of a network uh, you can you can get connected to the TFS and uh, he or she uh, your admin should be giving you the URL to get connected to the TFS and you could get connected to the TFS that way in my case I'm going to be showing you right from the beginning how to uh, create uh, um, the TFS on the um, on the uh, on the web right okay so uh, you you know the need that when you start off an MTM Microsoft ta um, Test Manager, you should be connecting to a TFS. So since we know that condition, let us see if we have a TFS. So I am going to bring up my browser. Okay. 